Hey everyone, Nicole here, back with another Estes Education how-to video. Today we are talking about folding parachutes. This is one of the most critical steps before flight. Do this wrong and watch your masterpiece crash to the ground. But do it right and it is one of the safest and most reliable recovery systems. Skydivers and soldiers use them every day. NASA even used parachutes on Mars to safely land Perseverance. Perseverance is the Mars rover worth 2.7 billion. That's money piled sky high or like 11 Ashton Kutchers. You'll see it at the flying field from time to time. The shroud lines could wrap around the chute itself, preventing the parachute from fully expanding. The parachute could also be packed too tight, blocking the pressure buildup and preventing the nose cone from ejecting. And most commonly, your rocket is ashamed and refuses to fly. <sighs> I've seen it happen. This is how to fold a parachute. Hit it. So what's the history of a parachute? The design goes back to da Vinci, having depicted the first parachutes in his famous drawings from the 1470s. His pyramid parachute structure, or any parachute, remained untested during his lifetime. This guy plummeted from the top of the Eiffel Tower. He's like, let me don my flowy cape just so I look fly when I do it. He did not fly. Captain Albert Berry was the first to touch down safely under a parachute, leaving generations of military paratroopers in his wake. This spurred an age of rapid parachute development driven by military needs. During this development, parachutes began to take the shape that they have now. Advancements were made in material strength and our understanding of aerodynamics improved. Now parachutes are a staple in aviation they are used to recover or deploy people and equipment across the world and even on Mars. So, how does a parachute work? It's not as easy as throwing a bag into the air and hoping it will slow the fall. In rocketry, the parachute is deployed using a pressurization charge from the engine. This ejection charge pressurizes the airframe and forces the nose cone out of the top of the rocket. Once the nose cone is out of the rocket, the air rushing over the rocket will help pull out the parachute. When the parachute is out of the airframe, it will begin to open. Within a few moments, the parachute will be fully deployed. It only takes a parachute a few seconds to slow the rocket to the speed at which it will touch the ground. Let's talk the parts of a modern parachute. First, the canopy. This is the main body of the parachute and is what catches the air to slow the fall of the rocket. This is usually a lightweight and easily foldable plastic for model rockets. Next, the shroud lines. These attach to the canopy at increments around the parachute. And finally, the shock cord. This attaches to the nose cone and the body tube, keeping the entire rocket together during recovery. If you've flown your parachute before, you want to take a moment to inspect it before installing it into your rocket. Make sure the shroud lines are accounted for and secured Check that there are no holes or fire damage from the previous flight. Make sure there are no big stretches or wear on the plastic of the chute. All good? Now we fold the parachute. First, let's attach the parachute to the shock cord mount. 
To do this, pull all of your shell lines to one side and loop it around your finger. Slide the loop through the shock cord mount and then slide the parachute through that loop and pull tight. Now, hold it up. Check out the shroud lines. Make sure nothing looks tangled and that they are still attached securely. Smooth out the parachute to make a triangle. Then, fold the triangle in half. Remember to keep the shroud lines pulling in one direction. This should leave you with an awkward looking triangle. Fold the tip of the parachute in, then roll the parachute. Continue rolling until your shroud lines are gently wrapped around the parachute. The weight of the rocket should help. Be sure the shroud lines are wrapped loosely. If they are too tight, the parachute won't be able to expand. Pro tip. Baby powder can help to prevent the parachute from sticking to itself and keep it flexible in cold weather. Now we can install our parachute. We want to start by placing some recovery wadding inside of our body tube to protect the parachute from damage. This can vary depending on the engine, but three to five sheets per flight should be adequate. Then we need to feed the rest of the shock cord into the body tube. Make sure both ends of the shock cord are securely connected to the nose cone and the body tube. Then. Place all of your slack into the body. Now, push the parachute into the body tube. You can use a pencil or another long skinny object to assist you. Make sure it has room to breathe. Compare these three parachutes. This one is rolled too tight. It might not be able to expand. This one is too loose and would have trouble ejecting from the body. Now this parachute is just right. It's snug and can easily move up and down. And that's it. You're ready to fly. This has been How to Fold a Parachute. Hey everyone, Nicole here. Just wanted to let you know that we've ramped up our plans and we're pumping out more and more content for educators. You'll be able to find it all right here on our YouTube channel. So be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and click the bell to be alerted every time we release new content. Catch you later.